Okay, so this week's lure review is going to be on a Lucky Craft topwater prop bait. It is called the Kelly J. I have two of them here, two different colors, and we are going to go ahead and take a closer look at them right now. Okay, so the Kelly J. Kelly J topwater bait by Lucky Craft comes in two different sizes. This is the standard Kelly J, and it has a length of two and three quarter inches in a weight of a half an ounce and then you have the Kelly J Jr which has a length of two and a quarter inches and a weight of five sixteenths of an ounce so this one is the the little bit larger profile of the two uh, the other one it's it's not too small to where you could you couldn't cast it but if you need a smaller profile or uh, fish that are a little more finicky then you can use a smaller one I have two different colors here let me go ahead and get the uh, measurement out of the way. If you measured from ring to ring, it is right at three and a half inches from ring to ring. And then just the main body of it is probably about two and seven eighths of an inch. So the interesting thing about this bait, uh, other than the fact that it's got two props, kind of like a, a Smithwick Devil's Horse, um, we have this thing has like bearings on the front of it. They, they advertise them as bearings. I don't know if they're bearings as much as they are bushings, but they're made out of steel and they're like two chips in there. And it's only on the front one. The rear one just has these, these cups, just like a standard prop bait would. Like this prop bait that I have from, uh, from Hedden has kind of the same cup on the back and Smithwick has them as well but on the front one it has these uh, these wafers or the, these little discs that really help this thing spin uh, with minimal effort in fact if you blow on the front of it it spins very very easily so uh, it moves very very well through the water it uh, is balanced evenly, so when you cast it out, it's not going to be tail weighted in the water like a popper or a spook. It's actually going to sit flat in the water, and it'll actually sit to where um, it's actually just, the, the water line will be just right here. So just the back of this will be sticking up out of the water if you let it sit there. And you don't fish these things like poppers. Like I told you in the past, you, you could fish them like a buzz bait, but I don't, I don't fish prop baits like buzz baits because if I want to fish a buzz bait I'll fish a buzz bait so what I do is you give these um, a pull you pull them through the water with about a I would say about a foot to a foot and a half length pull and at, at a moderate pace and you can do it rather quick or pretty slow and these props here are gonna spit water straight up in the air you can see that the Lucky Craft has a dressed trailer hook on the treble hook. It's got three on all three gaps of it. So you have a gap here, a gap here, and a gap here. You have you have two feathers in each. So there's six feathers on here all together. Very, very light feathers, but very, very nice. Go ahead and look at the internal ballast system in it. It's got the two bearings in there. I don't know if they're made out of tungsten or steel. I think they're made out of steel. But you've got one there and one there. And normally on top water baits, you'll have another one back here. But there's none on this one. There's no rattles. It's just the uh, just these balls in here. Because, like I said, the way, the way you work this, you don't work it like a popper with a darting action. You work it as a pull. So if you're making these these bearings I suppose if you're making these bearings in here uh, rattle then you're probably not working it the way that it was intended to I'm not saying that you're not you're not working it to catch fish but I, I, I think that this bait was intended to be pulled kind of like the bait that we already did by Hedden uh, you just pull these things and it makes the prop spit water straight up into the air just like with uh, all the Lucky Craft baits that I have and that I've reviewed in the past you get a lot of the same components so you get the the three-dimensional eyes that are very good quality with the raised gill plates and the etching on the body 
and high quality paint jobs. You can see this one says Kelly J right on the bottom. I'll go ahead and give you the colors of these. This one is Ghost Minnow. Ghost Minnow, like we, I have Ghost Minnow, I think, in every bait that I own by Lucky Craft. And Ghost Minnow just has this light, transparent brown on the back uh, with a scale pattern fading into like a pearl on the belly, and it's fairly clear on the side. So there's Ghost Minnow. And the next color is going to be MS Black. Now, if you're not familiar with Lucky Craft, it seems that the designation MS, if you see the MS on anything like MS American Shad or MS Crack or MS Black, it generally means that it's going to have these glued on scales on here. Now, this one actually has a beautiful pearl uh, scale pattern on the back here. So it has this, it fades from this green to yellow to orange. So it actually, um, I have the MS American Shads, but they don't look like this one. Um, so this one is MS Black. It's just regular black, has an, uh, an orange yellow throat. It says Kelly J right on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dark. And it has the uh, scale pattern right on it. So there's MS Black. Remember, if it says MS, then it's got these, these uh, scale patterns on it that are actually glued on. So, MS Black. So anyway, give these things a shot. I really enjoy fishing with uh, with prop baits. There's not a lot of prop baits out there to be had. If you were to go to a place like Tackle Warehouse, you're only going to see about a dozen different ones. And one, two, three, four of them are made by Lucky Craft. So Lucky Craft has a splash tail, which is a little longer profile. And uh, it has a, it's a dual prop design. And they also have a wake tail, which is a single prop design. That is kind of a, a minnow slash shad profile. This is more of a shad profile. When you, uh, the design with this is that because it, the water line sits almost all the way up to the back, it's going to give more profile of the bait underwater as opposed to like a stick or a pencil bait that is just uh, mostly on the surface. You're not, uh, it's not offering a lot underwater for the fish to see. That's the idea behind this, uh, is, is from what I understand. Don't let me forget that it's also a signature bait. It says Kelly J right there uh, for Kelly Jordan. So there it is, you guys. Check these bad boys out. I just got them. I think we're going to do the uh, Lucky Craft Gunfish next week. So, And like I said, with, uh, with the scale pattern, this is an MS American Shad. You can see that it's got that, that glued on scale pattern there, just like this one does. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned next week.